Hello and welcome to English with Mr. C. Today we are studying wheel number two. Wheel number two shows us how to do verbs like, want, and need in present and past tense. So, what does it teach? Wheel number two teaches us S verbs ending with S. That means any verb that ends with S is an S verb, like is, was, goes, has. These work with he, she, it, and everyone, not I, you, we, they. Past tense verbs work with any pronoun, liked, needed, wanted. And in this case, we have different pronunciations with different past tense verbs because we add only a D on liked, we get a KT sound. Adding ed to need and want gives an ed sound. Pronunciations change with different past tense words. Use pronouns and nouns as the third word. What is the third word? The third word is the middle wheel. We call this the first, second, third word in a three-word sentence. It can be pronouns or nouns. So you link three-word phrases into longer sentences using linking words such as when, if, after, because, conjunctions, and, but, or. This is wheel number two, the like wheel. We look at the words want, like, and need. Those are verbs. We have S verb, likes, wants needs. Those are S verbs. They're red. The ones without S are green. Need, want, like. We have past tense, two past tense verbs. Needed, like. They have a different sound and one adds only a D while the other one adds ED. And they're both red and green because they match every pronoun. Red and green pronouns. Now you can ask for what you want or what you need, and the third word can be either a pronoun or a noun. You can practice different pronouns such as her. You can put in you, take your own manipulatives, and plug them into the wheel. Then you can also use pictures. I like bikinis, or the bikini, the red bikini. I need a watch. I need a new watch. I want a gift from my boyfriend. I want a gift in a package. I want candy or M&Ms. You can use pictures and have students tell you what the word is. I need toothpaste. And so you can use any kind of manipulative to help you expand vocabulary while practicing the verbs that express need or desire or personal taste. This lesson links the wheels together. Eventually, after we understand how to create three word sentences correctly, then we link phrases together. This is wheel number one using the verb to be and feel feels felt. We have the same pronouns on this wheel and in wheel number two, the like wheel, which helps us understand the verbs need, want, and like. Also past tense. We have S verbs as well. The S verb in wheel number one is feels. Also is and was are S verbs technically. So we want to connect these two wheels into a longer sentence. We use connectors like but, because, where, when, and, and we put them between these wheels, all the wheels of the grammar wheels, to create longer sentences. Let's try some examples. Get the first phrase established. I am glad. I'm glad. We see that that's correct because not only are these red, but then we have a smiley face to make sure we're right and glad as a smiley face. I am glad because 
Now with the like wheel, we create the second phrase. She likes me. Let's find likes. She likes me. We know that she goes with likes. It's an S verb, first of all. And then the smiley face connects likes and me. So we have I am glad because she likes me. That's a longer sentence than just three sentences, three words. So let's create a second one. Let's say it was bad. It was bad. We see that red goes with red. Smiley face goes with the adjective. It was bad, but. We're going to use but. And then with the, sec the, like, the wheel number two, the like wheel, we say everyone liked it. So everyone liked it. Liked goes with everything because it's a red and green verb. It's also past tense. There's the white D representing the past tense. Liked it. So, it was bad, but everyone liked it, as in food being cooked. Let's switch it around. Let's let wheel number two be the first verb, first phrase. And wheel number one is the second phrase. We say, we like it when they are going. So we, where is we? We like it. Green to green, we like that. It or that would work. We like it when, we use the connector when to give us the second phrase from wheel number one, they are going. Find they are going. Two greens, green to green. They are going. Yes, that works. It's a gerund, an ing verb. Goes with the verb to be. Yes. So, we like it when they are going. We like it when they are going. You can add on to that. We like it when they are going with us to school on Monday. Different phrases make the sentence longer and longer. Let's do one more where wheel number two starts the sentence. Let's say you need help if she feels bad. So, you need help. Okay, we see if that's correct. Green to green. Help. Smiley face says we're correct. You need help if. Where's if? You need help if they are going. Nope. If she feels bad. If she feels bad. So we see that an S verb goes with she, and then the adjective goes with the feel, feels, felt verbs, goes with all the verbs. And so, again, the sentence is, you need help if she feels bad. Make it longer. You need help if she feels bad because she got sick yesterday. The sentences can be longer and longer when you have connectors. And so, with wheel number two, we learned about S-verbs and that he, she, in, and everyone work with S-verbs, but I, you, we, they do not. Past tense verbs work with any pronoun, needed, liked, wanted. You add D or ED to make verbs past tense, and those pronunciations change. Use pronouns and nouns as the third word, and link three word phrases into longer sentences using linking words or connectors.